Good evening, everyone. Oh, good morning. Welcome to the lab. Today we're going to talk about the new map, Lotus. And we're going to talk about how to play smokes on the defense. We're going to go through all the three sides that are on the map. And we're going to talk about different approaches that we want to do while playing a controller on this map. So we're going to talk about three phases of smokes when it comes to like aggressive defensive smokes, uh, mid-game defensive smokes, and then defensive and retake smokes on site as well. Let's start with, this is the A site. You guys are going to, of course, not know the map very well, but as soon as you're going to be playing it, well, then you're going to grow accustomed to it. This is the A site, the one of the three sides of this, on this map, just like on Haven, and it has a very specific, um, let's say, lobby that the attackers are going to go through. This is the path of the attackers, um, and that's how they're going to approach the map. Here they're going to go to the orb, to the side, by either the revolving doors, that is on this on this uh, side of the map, or through this corridor that goes straight up to the A side. Now, as a defender, your first tempo play that you can do as soon as the barrier drops i'm going to show you the barrier as well when it is where it is exactly because that's very important to understand when it comes to context we're starting at the barrier and we can prepare the first tempo smoke to stop the uh, ongoing push from the opponents and we aim to put the smoke over here so we're aiming uh, we're pre-aiming the smoke in a position like this and when we start the round the attackers have to go through the smoke or jump on the ledge here to be exposed um, towards the attack, sorry, towards the defenders. So this stops a potential push, and the way that the opponents have to counter this is essentially the same way that you we talk about long uh, on peril on B when it, where, where it comes to the ramp, when a jet or an Astra just smokes the passage. So that's the counter to the defending smoke on the first tempo, right? But it's, um, it's a nice way of using the Omen smoke to just make sure that your opponents will lose a little bit of precious time to cross to the uh, a, uh, lobby to this area here towards the orb. Now, when they breach this site already uh, and they're in a lobby, your, your objectives are changing. Now we're going to be playing more on site or we're going to be playing from, what is the callout for this? tree i guess because there's a tree here and by the way you cannot shoot through this tree it's impenetrable and there are the revolving doors over here and when you're playing from a deeper position on site you're able to do some creative one ways you can counter essentially any push going through the doors because of the simple one way so you're got you can hold this entire position with just one smoke essentially because you're gonna hold the revolving doors and you can fight on the players going from the other side now when it comes to like just smoking the other entrance on the side it's a very basic smoke that you don't want to leak onto this side this is very important that you don't want to make the smoke like this because that creates more space for the attackers you want to put it more to the left so it doesn't leak and when you're holding this area, you have an easier way of holding the cross, uh, holding the the position when your when your opponents are going into 50-50 angles, right? But this is only when you're playing from this position. And remember about the one way on the revolving door. Now, when you're playing on site, though, there are more creative ways of using one ways here because there's the platform with the rope, and this allows you to hold. Um, the right side of the entrance to the side with a very aggressive one way over here. Mm -mm -mm, here we go. Where is it? Ah. You have you you have to you have to forgive me. This is a new map. There is a one way here that I discovered before, and it just now we just have to find it. Is it this one? No. Well, this is embarrassing. The red arrows are not working anymore, so that's very. Oh, here we go. So you're going to put the one way here. It's very aggressive. It, it essentially stops any pushes because you cannot go through this unless someone counters it with his own smoke um, underneath. Now, so um, when, you, when you're going to have this one way, of course, the other, other side of the side can be breached. And this is important when you're putting another side, uh, side smoke that is just stops the push from tree. This is similar when you think about this A side. This is very similar to bind B side. Essentially, this is tube on bind this is hookah and this is long you can approach it in a very similar fashion right but you also have this platform to play from so um that's very important 
to understand that you can be a, 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 like applying the same knowledge that you use on the on bind on defending this right so you don't want the smoke to leak onto site and you have easier way uh easy way of holding just this exit uh and play anti-flash as well from tube or whatever you call it from house right so that's one thing and then also another basic smoke if you don't want to go for the one way you want to go for just a normal smoke a smoke like this allows you to make sure you're holding the site but the problem is there's another exit over here which leads to the spawn from the defense so this smoke is gonna be only helpful if you're really afraid of them pushing into site and someone else is holding this corridor now let's jump to b site b site is a very unique site that we have never seen before in uh environment it has an odd shape when it comes to the area of plant like so odd right it's a very small area like imagine a, a aoe ultimate like brimstone breach fade all of them have like they, they essentially touch everything on b side right so uh it's very it, it's very um very different from what we have seen so far in the game and i cannot make any comparisons even the this the the post plant um sorry spike Plast, um, plant spots are going to be different than what you typically see. There's, there's a button here? No. It's a fake. Uh, so, when it comes to smokes, it's also going to be different. First, the, the barriers in this spot over here. So, when we start the round, we can literally, after just taking a few steps, have contact with the enemy because this is the attacker's spawn. They start from this position. They have the barrier over here. This is also the first map that has three orbs. So, every lane has an objective. There's, a, there's an orb on C, there's an orb on B, and there's an orb on A, right? So there's micro, sorry, macro objectives for both teams on every lane. And this is, makes, it, makes it important to hold, this, uh, so to hold this area as well. So when the attackers are going through the barrier, and this is going to be the first contact, you can, the same way that you did an uh, a, 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 a aggressive smoke on A, you can use the same knowledge over here. So essentially using a smoke like this will make it less... Or actually, this is too leaking too much, so this is incorrect. We're going to put it a little bit towards the back of this, uh, of this corridor like this. This is going to be better for us when it comes to holding this smoke because it is going to make the um, aggressors less likely to push out of this smoke. And if you're holding this angle, your uh, opponents are going to go straight up into your uh, cross placement because otherwise they're not going to see you at all, right? But from this angle, this is not perfect because your opponents can either go be, be here or here from those two spots, but it's still a viable uh, smoke to do in a first tempo because from the attacker's perspective, how do you breach this area without using any kind of utility first to go into this uh, objective? right before you go into the site now remember there's a revolving door on this side as well that goes towards c side the map is really complicated by the way but as a defender your smoke over here will put pressure on your opponents will make them use uh, more utility than if there would be no smoke over here this is why i also think omen is probably gonna be the agent of choice for ranked uh and to some compositions in, in pro play as well because of the amount of smokes that you're required to do on this map and of course the range so astro five stars would have been 100 percent pick over here now i think omen even with the nerf on the one ways there's still so many useful one ways on this map that you're gonna still be using him so this is a good, your first tempo smoke if that fails you well then there's not much thing to do because not many things to do this is just this is just the smoke that counters the pushes on site. Essentially, that's it. And unless the doors from Link are broken, that's another macro objective for the attackers, you don't have to worry about this entrance because this is destroyable. Those doors are destroyable with um, with paint shells from Rays with just one paint shell, but everything else when it comes to utility is not able to destroy it with just one piece of utility. It takes actually six shock darts to destroy those doors. Um, and one KO grenade doesn't destroy it as well. You have to put four more bullets from the Vandal to destroy it. So unless those doors are destroyed, you don't have to worry about this side 
uh, of this side. So it's pretty simple to hold this with just one smoke on this entrance. There's no one way over here, at least I didn't find one, and I didn't even try to find a one way over here, uh, but apparently there is one. So you can defend if the, if the doors are broken, there's a one way that you can use, and we just discovered it while recording it over here. So it's kind of simple if you want to hold this because this essentially stops the push for 15 seconds. So um, yeah, that's what, one of the second smoke. And you can also use a smoke, by the way, a one-way smoke on the destroyable doors over here that will allow you to be uh, a little bit aggressive uh, if you want to retake the link position, right? Like no one can push through this unless they have a flash. Um, now, when it comes to sight itself, it's going to be very interesting. I propose to use a smoke uh, in combination with a phantom uh, to not show your traces, right, in this spot of the site. When you put this smoke, because you have to retake or you have to play aggressive on the site, you're able to stop the plant from happening for 15 seconds. Because one of the one of the spots that I think are going to be um, defaults for planting is going to be this one here and this one underneath the wall over here. But if that's going to happen, well, that one way here essentially stops this potential plant for 15 seconds because you cannot go into the smoke because you're exposed, right? Uh, and if the player has a phantom, he can sit in the smoke and just ping the position of the other default plant and just kill the player that is planting because there's a very simple angle there, right? And also it creates pressure for the opponents to just spam the smoke to clear it first. Now, as I said, this is a very specific uh, site, so maybe I'm wrong when it comes to this um, corner smoke, but I do think it's a creative way of defending the site. And this site is just so different from everything that we had so far in the game. Now let's jump to Seaside. Seaside is very easy to hold, I think at least. We'll see if that's going to be true, but let's talk about first, about the first tempo smokes that we can use to put pressure on the attackers to make sure that they're not going to push into the sea mount that has the objective with the orb. Now, the attacker's, attacker's um, barrier starts here. So this is the first tempo um, for them. They're going to just attack into this position. It's going to take three seconds for them to reach here. And you can counter that first potential move with a one way. Let me show you the, let me show you the barrier. This is the attacker's barrier. And this is the defender's barrier. And when you start at the defender's barrier, you can be very creative uh, with a... Uh, okay, it's not super creative. But you can be very aggressive with a first tempo smoke that essentially gives you uh, control over this entire area. When you do this one way, you're essentially able to counter any pushes apart from satchels and dashes and neons, of course, are going to be faster than you. But a normal on-foot uh, agent is not going to be able to go faster than you into this position and counter this one way without using ut any utility. And this allows you to control aggressively the sea lobby with just one smoke, which is very important. And for ranked play, I feel like this is going to be a default play for any omen that is playing Seaside right here now if you lose the control remember there's a revolving door over here so if there's communications happening in your team that there's a b push and you are worried about the double doors sorry about the revolving doors what is going to be the call out doors Re no one is going to say revolving doors anyway my point is you can still use the one way on the revolving doors to stop a potential push from the b link and if you're going to have to play on site well Nothing easier to do, because there's only one entrance to this site unless someone already goes through the B site, and that typically is not going to be the case. So as a C player, you have a semi-easy um, job to hold this site, because if you do a smoke just in the corridor, it's super hard to breach this, and if you have more time to set up a one-way, you're able to set up a one-way over here. Over here, somewhere... All right, this is not correct. This is going to fall down. One second. Embarrassing moment again. No? No? Here we go. This is the one way that I'm going to be talking about. And with this one way, you're able to hold this entire entrance very, very effectively. You can be on site here as well. Like, there's no way, there's no easy way of going, going through this one way. So this is potentially easily stopped and requires a lot of uh, utility pieces being used by the opponents to cross into sight. And when it comes to retaking, now this is also a very 
unique site. Because, as you can see, the shape of it, it's not something that you would typically see in Valorant. It, it's not, it's like, it's everywhere. Like, it's literally everywhere, right? So, you, when you want to plant this, I don't think there's going to be one typical smoke they're going to always use because it's going to depend on, on the context of the round. And I feel like the easiest way of retaking on this side with a smoke is just smoking out the exit from spawn. Because now you can have... You can breach onto the site without being exposed, and that's your only entrance, essentially, unless you're gonna go from the B side, which is here. And when you go from the B side, right, this is the B side here, and you and you travel towards the B side, well, then the, your exit is over here, and now you can have your attack is already standing on the platform. So using uh, a, a, a smoke in this position probably is also desirable, I would say, like a one-way over here. So this counters any potential swings from this corridor. Yeah, this is actually a very good retake smoke, I would say. If you're retaking from B, this one way allows you to have more freedom on going into site and not be exposed to anything from site and from the corridor because no one's going to swing you. So you can check those corners over here and just retake the site. I hope you guys enjoyed this small guide. Um, this is literally me, first time checking out the map. I didn't even play one game, but I spent a lot of time figuring out how to do smokes on this map. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And we'll see if, for example, in a few months' time, are those smokes are going to be still helpful or, you know, meta is going to evolve into something completely different. Thank you for watching. See you guys around.